My name is Wanda Manning, and I'm Vice President and Co-Owner of Hall Telecommunications Supply. And my name is Mike Polo. I am President of Hall Telecom Supply, and I have been with Hall for 36 years. Our motto is to deliver the right product to the right location at the right price on time every time. Everything we do throughout our day-to-day -day activities standardize and prioritize that. Um, we have a hard rule within our organization that if we don't fulfill that, our team is empowered to do what is necessary to make it right for the customer. And um, once we get the customer result, and we then step back and take a look on the things that happen in the process and what we need to do to change things for the future. From our standpoint, the one of the most important things is to make sure that our clients always get the proper service and contact. Having a live person answer our phone is critical so that they can quickly get to the whichever person within Hall that they need to speak to. The client experience for us is the most important thing of our business. And we we have a saying, we, we make nothing and we install nothing. So it's very important how we then service the client. The only constant is change. So we continuously are going out to our customers and being engaged to understand what changes they're facing and how we can help service them with them. My name is Natalie Vander Madden, and I am the owner of Natalie Madden Spa. We have really gone above and beyond in terms of making our customers feel like their family. And even when you look at our Google reviews and feedback from our customers, that's often what they say, that they either feel like family or they feel like a really great deep friend. Um, and so this really comes from personalization and customization. So when people start with us and they start working the front desk, it's actually a really big learning curve for them. They're not just learning the policies and procedures, they're learning every little detail about our customers to make them feel special when they walk in the door. That's something that we really want to prioritize that customers know we're waiting for them. They're not coming in and interrupting our day while we're doing different tasks. We're there, we're wet, ready to greet them, we're ready to offer them the best service, the best experience, and we, we really strive to remember personal details about, you know, someone's wedding that they had, or a big vacation that's coming up, or an anniversary. Um, those are the little details that we really like to filter into their interactions and their services with us. Customers are really very much the heart of our business. Uh, they are the reasons why we get to come to work every day and do what we're so passionate about. So I'm Debbie Stanley. I'm the CEO of ETP Canada, and we're in the business of easing life after death. When we're dealing with death, there's so much emotion, grief, um, anger. There's, there's a lot coming out with our clients. So when we start with compassion and then we start taking care of them, that just becomes natural. It just becomes our standard protocol. A safe and inclusive environment at our firm is top priority. It's funny because death actually has no bias whatsoever, right? It happens to everyone, young, old, rich, poor, doesn't matter. So um, everyone is welcome no matter what, right? Because you're going to face this at some point. And that's really important that our clients do feel safe, that they can come talk to us, that we're informed on different um, laws, even, you know, same-sex marriage. What does that look like? What kind of barriers do they face? We want to ensure that we're knowledgeable on it, that we're open, we're communicating, and that they feel like this is the place that they can come and chat. Sometimes clients just come in with banana bread and they just wanna talk because they feel so welcome, so safe in our environment. Customer service is literally everything. I don't think we would exist without focusing on it so much. Um, just helping people, it's literally our calling. Uh, the staff that we have are incredible. They feel like they're making a difference in lives. We feel like we're leaving a footprint in the country that we are helping so many people and if it's even the smallest difference, if two siblings didn't fight today, then we made a difference. And that just all comes back down to the customer service that we gave them.